Okay, so we're in Ashawana. Ash. Ashiwai. You're on your own with this. <laughs> I saw a cool duck. I swear if I see another tour gate, I'm gonna cry. Uh, you're gonna hand this to one of the monkeys and they validate it. We're definitely going down this slide. Yeah. Who would take the stairs? Uh, Arashi Shawawa. <laughs> Whatever that place is called. We are so sorry. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Hello, travel friends, and welcome to this brand new series coming to you straight from Japan. In this series, we're taking you through some of Japan's best hotspots and getting a little bit lost along the way. So hit the subscribe button and let's get on with it. Good morning, Kyoto. We're off on another early morning this morning. We get a little bit sick of our morning adventure. Yeah, this is our we? last morning adventure for a little while. But we're off to Bamboo Park. Yes. And Bamboo uh, Grove. And go see the monkeys as well. Yeah, it should be a nice morning. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. It's yeah. going to be a beautiful day. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. It's one thing about getting up early to beat the crowds, but getting off the right stop is also important. Lucky this stop is a bit of a gem. It's one thing of getting off the wrong stop. Yeah, so we missed our train station because I misread the map. We're coming to this beautiful mountainside. It's stunning here. Mm. We haven't really been... I'm a bit disappointed we're not going into the mountains now. I really regret not making the effort to get to Fuji. Because this is so beautiful. It's just like got me out of New Zealand. Oh, I'm really sad now. What an epic train station though. Very epic. Yeah, right, we need to cross over so we can get the right train back. <laughs> We're never gonna make that. If you get on that and I don't, I'm gonna be pissed. What a morning. <laughs> nice idea to stop off here. Alright, I think it's the next station. <sighs> Dying. Finally, we arrived at the bamboo forest. Just try to imagine thousands of sprawling bamboo crowding the entrance, it was unbelievable. Then, I believe we met the gatekeepers of the forest. They were a bit shy though. You guys are so cute, come back out! Hi! So that there was the uh, train station that Hannah was trying to get us to, but then she took us to the Blue Mountains. It, mi it might have been, I don't know if it actually was. We didn't go to the Blue Mountains, <laughs> you're a weirdo. <laughs> um, but no, we did make it, we're in the bamboo forest and it is really, really beautiful. It's really cold, we're up in the mountains now and it's and again, get here early, there is already a massive crowd coming up the path. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful place to photograph. I don't know a hell of a lot about the place actually. I think it's just a good spot where bamboo grows. There's a lot of temples around, but yeah, my hands, oh, mm. icy. We need to get <laughs> really some bits in Tokyo. Bamboo has a long history of Japanese myths and legends. This forest is thought to be planted to protect the surrounding temples from evil. In regards to its location and the size, the 16 square kilometer dense bamboo forest sits on the edge of the city below the mountains. The pathway is what makes the forest one of the most popular and photographed spots in Japan. So if you want it all to yourself, get up at the rooster's call. What? This is so pretty. So we've just come out of the bamboo forest and there's this beautiful lake. And I yanked my camera out of my hands just so she can. Uh... <laughs> I saw a cool duck. <laughs> she saw a duck with a green head. Where are you looking? <laughs> if you can see him. Oh, yeah, just there. Hello, really Donald. Where we are right now, I can't pronounce the name. Uh, there's a few things to do. There's the monkey park, which we're going to go check out in a minute. There's a lot of beautiful gardens and the bamboo forest, obviously. And we are going to go have a look at a romantic train. I don't know if we're going to do it yet. It might be really, really expensive, but there is like a cute mountain range train that goes through here. Kind of reminds me a bit of like the romantic version of Puffing Billy, if you're from Victoria. Yeah, there's a lot to do around here and some beautiful gardens to photograph. If you are into um, nature photography or wildlife photography or duck photography, <laughs> this is quite a good place to come hang out. Or koi photography. Because yeah, there's some big ass like Japanese barramundi in the water. Japanese barramundi. <laughs> They look like Japanese paramundi. <laughs> I've been living in Darwin too long, guys. No, every, every fish you see now is a barramundi. All the big fish are barriers. Mm -hmm. Like when we're doing that barra feeding, that's what the fish look like. Like their mouth just go. Yeah. <laughs> if you've watched all of our vlogs, you will have seen the barra feeding episode. It was a good one. 
So I think we'll see the monkeys maybe. Okay. There's the monkey park up there. I wouldn't mind going to it, but I don't want to go and feed them. I just want to go and see yeah. them. No, I'm fine. Just go and see them. So we are here. Yeah. We you go. think? Nah, I know. Back through the bamboo forest. Back through the bamboo forest. And then forest. past the station that we got off at. Yeah. And then across the bridge. Yeah. Cool. Go all the way. The river might be nice. Let's go have a look at the river. Yeah. We saw enough bamboo for one's lifetime. We ditched the forest and its tourists and made our way back to the train station and had some brekkie. Han was also keen to find out more about this love train. Just so. Breakfast done? Yeah, breakfast. I reckon if you go through those doors, that might actually be the train station. Yeah, we might yeah. be able to find out if we can get those tickets to them. Look. Yeah, we'll go see if we can find out about this a Sagano railway pass. So we're in line at the moment. Yes, we found where you book the ticket for the train. And that's the map. So it's like it follows the same line as the JR line, but it goes like in and out and weaves and stuff. So it might be cool to see like a bit of the countryside from the train. Um, it's saying 630 yen per person for an adult. One way. One way, but then you can get the JR train back. So cold. Mm. Okay. No, sorry. Are you level two? Yeah. One way? Uh, yeah. Okay. Rack Rack City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you level two? Yeah. It was 630 yen each, and that's a reserved seat, and you sit like in twos next to the window, and the track goes. Um, it kind of weaves through the mountains, so it might be really, really pretty. Yeah. It starts at a JR station and it ends at a JR station, but it doesn't follow the JR line. So the JR line goes straight through the mountain. This one weaves through all the mountains. And because it's one way, you can then get the JR train back all the way to Amachi, where we're staying, or Kyoto, or wherever you need to go. So you will be able to get back. That's what was confusing when I was trying to book online. Yeah. It's really weird. But anyway, we might go to the monkey park now. We'll go for a wander up the hill and see if we can find some monkeys. Then we need to be back here about 10 to 11. I love, I love the different scenery that we're now experiencing. We've been in the concrete jungle and a few bits of bulbs where it becomes like temples and that. but And islands and, and beaches, islands. now we're in the hills. We've actually seen some water, like this type of water where it's a bit just out of town. It's very nice. Hey babe, what are these big orange things? These? Yeah, no, they're. Where? <laughs> the, the, the Tori Gate. It's a Tori Gate. Have I told you about Tori Gates? <laughs> when have you told us about Tori Gates? I swear if I see another Tori Gate, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Monkey monkeys! Uh, you're gonna hand us one of the monkeys and they validate it. Wow, you're real lame today. <laughs> Alright, we need to be quick and find monkeys because we're gonna miss that train otherwise. <laughs> Let's see how good you are with monkeys. Oh, that's easy. What's that? What species of monkey can we see in this park? Chimpanzee, macaque, or a gorilla? Gorilla. Macaque. About 200 kinds of monkeys live on Earth. However, a single species of monkeys inhabits Japan. Right. I didn't know that. What foods do monkeys in this park like? Cicada, spider, or snake? Cicada. Um, yeah. Cicada. They eat cicada and beetles, but hate spiders and snakes. And what do the monkeys in this park hate or fear? Being touched, being stared, being hit by a stone. I'm going to go with all of the above. Because you should Is never stare at monkeys. And that's a real thing. If you take a boy to a place where there's monkeys, the boy will stare at a monkey and raise their eyebrows at them. And that's instinctual, and I don't know why boys still do it, because you guys are supposed to We're evolved. still pretty primal. But I guarantee you take a boy to a monkey park, he will stare at it and go like that, with his eyebrows. Kieran will do I'm, it at least once I'm today. doing it to Hannah now. One, two, and three. They hate all of them. Please don't make the monkeys nervous. Oh, you nailed it. You've already seen this. You've been no, here before. I haven't. You've been here before. I actually haven't. We're definitely going down this slide. Yeah. 
Who would take the stairs? <laughs> there needs to be an upward slide. Here. Upward slide. Look at the view. Yeah, that's an insane view. Actually, with all the vlogs we've watched, I don't think any one of one of them turned around and had a look at you. Once you pay the fee, which was 550 yen for adults and a 30 minute hike up Mount Rashiyama, you will finally arrive at Iwatayama Monkey Park. Here, you can feed, photograph the macaques or just embrace the scenery from the top of this mountain. It was a lot of fun photographing and videoing these macaques. Just need to be respectful and not to get too close with the camera. Being wild animals, they do have a tendency to become quite aggressive to one another. So try not getting too close and getting caught in it. This is our anniversary because we both forgot our anniversary. <laughs> we keep saying things are our anniversary, but I'm pretty sure this is not our anniversary. We definitely deserve a much better anniversary. Look, it's actually it's, it's quite good. The monkeys are like very aggressive to each other. Yeah, imagine, I get a bit of a strange vibe from it, but I'll um, talk a bit more about it later when we're not in earshot of people who care. Yeah. Take a photo. That's well. That's videoing. Ah! Hi guys, how are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Can you not take a video of a photo while you're videoing? Uh, no. no. <laughs> you gonna get on the slide? Yeah. Do it. That's the adult choice of this uh, photo. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'll get that. <laughs> that went a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. You ready to catch our little train? A romantic train. A romance train. It's date time. It's a beautiful day for it. Hey. Beautiful day. Really nice day. And then can we get ice cream and go shopping? It's now full. All right, you guys. So if you're coming to do the romance train, book as soon as you get here because there was plenty of space when we were here. But now they're all booked up basically until one o'clock. Until the clock's already booking. So get here early. The first thing you need to do is book your train. We got here at about 9 o'clock. So. Yeah, and this station is across, the JR station's just out there. So if you get to JR station and come through, then you can get your booking. We ended up in the rich car. Is that car 5? Yeah. Don't say 5, 12C. 5, 12C. Oh, we so we got the outdoor one. Right, so it's literally just like potluck. I thought that would be the car five line, but he said, he said, oh, anyway. I think car... we're lined up here because that's where the train pulls up yeah. and we get on car five. Woo, it's exciting. Well, it costs us the same, so maybe that's why there wasn't different pricing. Maybe it's just luck. So that's a JR station there, Saga Arashiyama. So that's a JR train to come to this stop here. Yeah. And then you can get the romance train all the way up along the JR line, but yeah. it like squiggles. And then you get the JR line back, so you don't need a return ticket with this train. Busy. 
Hi, we just finished the train ride. That was really cool, don't you reckon? That was exceptional. It was a really beautiful train, and you could see like parts of Japan that we probably wouldn't get to see. So we haven't really done a lot of like country Japan. And we got to see like the mountains and the river and it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed that. They said that this is a way you can experience the four seasons. You've come here any time of the year. So during autumn, you'll see more of the rustic. Yeah, so in the, well, it's autumn now, but the leaves haven't changed yet. Leaves are changing really late this year. So late autumn, it's all like rusty colors and beautiful oranges and things. In winter, it snows. So you can see the snow, which is crazy. Summer, it's really, really green. And spring is the cherry blossom, which I can imagine it would just be bedlam. There'd be so many people here for cherry blossom, mm. I reckon. But no, we saw um, boats on the river and I knew there was a boat cruise around here, but I didn't know how cool it was. And the boat cruise looked like so so much fun. It looked like so, white water rafting, didn't it? Did. It was like white water gondola driving. It was <laughs> really fun. So we're gonna go to Arashiyama, I think it is. And I think we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping and maybe get some ice cream. Does that sound good? Yeah, and top off the day. It's been a really yeah. good day today. Yeah. And then we're off to Tokyo tomorrow, so we need to go home and pack, which is crazy. Our Plenty of exciting things to do, isn't it? Yeah, really fun. All right, let's go. Let's yeah. do this. When you take the um, romantic train, which is packed by the way, and it's super not romantic, but it's really pretty. If you take it one way, you've then got to walk half a kilometre to the JR station. So they technically take you out for dinner, but leave you with the bill. Exactly. So it's fine. We can walk half a K. But just a heads up, if you're not into walking, get the return ticket or get, I don't know, a boat cruise or something. Find a way home. But yeah, one way ticket gets you out into the sticks. And we're literally out in like rice paddies and stuff. <laughs> we're like in rural Japan right now. Um, but we've got to walk a K, not a K, half a K to Umahori Station, which is a JR train. So if you have your JR pass, it'll get you back to uh, Arashi Shawawa. <laughs> Whatever that place is called. We are so sorry. I had it all over, I was like all over the names, and now I'm just like, I'm having like, I don't know, girl brain. It's bad. Girl brain. Back to our boring trains. Back to the norm. So crap now. <laughs> Love that. So, I hope yours is alright. That's not instantaneous. No, it's good. It's like really subtle. I could eat ice cream literally all day. And the one thing I said to Kieran before we came to Japan is there is soft serve ice cream places everywhere. And was I lying? You weren't lying. They and they've even different. got an advanced flavours. Like it's strawberry like, cookies. It is kind of hard to find different flavours in Japan because it's always um, matcha or vanilla. Their vanilla ice cream is really good. But we just went to a gelato place and they had like crazy flavours, so really good. What's still been your best flavoured ice cream? Or ice cream? The best ice cream we've had so far in Japan was in um, Miyajima Island and they do like the coffee swirl ice cream. That was so oh, good. that vanilla and coffee and I one. I literally cannot stop thinking about it. Like I was lying in bed last night and I'm like PMSing right now. I was just like mouth watering over that ice cream. I just want it so bad. Oh. I actually want to go back to Miyajima just to get it. Yeah. So we're going to head back to Kyoto now. We're going to go grab the train back to Imachi and get ourselves packed up. Tomorrow we have to catch the 11.30 train to Tokyo, which is really exciting. And then we're thinking we might go out to Gion tonight for our last night in Kyoto, but we'll just see how we're going. Good evening, you guys. It is very zoomed in. Um, quarter to five. It's quarter to five and we are heading to Gion tonight. But first we're going to head into Kyoto and get some dinner because being vegetarians we find it quite hard to find food to eat. So we're probably going to go have Ichiran ramen unless we can think of any better ideas. Sound good? Yeah, I'm happy with Ichiran. And then tomorrow we're going to Tokyo. So this is our last little outing in uh, Kyoto. I know where we are, I know what's going on. I just had a nap so I'm like whacked. We decided to skip on the ramen and wanted some solid Westerner food. We knew we couldn't go wrong with some delicious vegetarian pizza. Then to top it off, our favourite treat. That's right, Malapan. You're like a heat-seeking missile from Malapan. It's like Superman. This is where the magic happens. So there's some Gion up here? I believe so. It's what uh, Google Maps is telling me, but it's pretty much just one 
mine strip. I reckon we really should have come here during the day. Kieran and I got confused. I know Gion as an area that's like real old school Japan and the geishas walk around and there's like this beautiful river over here and like big old school buildings. The kids read it as like a red light district, the complete opposite, so. It says something on a lonely planet and I'll, uh, I'll stand by that. Neither Han or I were wrong. The term red light district is used loosely in the Lonely Planet, not like a modern day one. Also, Gion is the most famous district for geishas, mostly visible during the daytime. So coming here at night wasn't going to achieve that. So we ended up darting in between lanes, street and avenues to check out the nightlife. We found out we didn't actually make it to the official Gion district. It was a shame. We did achieve a lot in a day's effort, so we left it to give us another reason to come back. We conquered Kyoto. Until next time, until Tokyo tomorrow, you guys. So we are super excited to be catching the bullet train tomorrow. It's our longest bullet train ride. And it's our last destination in Japan. I can't believe how fast we've gone. We're in Tokyo for five days. So we have a lot of time. We're doing some wicked stuff, like seriously cool stuff. Yeah, this is probably where all the epic stuff that we have. It's all like the, the real full-on exciting stuff. So we've seen all of traditional Japan. We've seen the history of Japan. We've seen a lot of temples. Now it's time to have like fun Japan. So Tokyo is all about having fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll close it off. We're going to go home and get all packed up and get our butts into bed. So tomorrow we can go to Tokyo. Thanks for watching guys, Kyoto is now complete and we are on our way to Tokyo. First stop was the Harajuku district and I tell you what, you need to see this place. It was filled with vibrant colours, entertainment and a ridiculous amount of tasty treats. Later, we checked out the world's busiest pedestrian crossing, Shibuya Crossing. Why if I do it? I think this thing is too skinny for almost my one. Is your butt going to fit in it? <laughs> I think it's your, it's your bottles, your bottles are stuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, if you drop that. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>